Hi, it's Tim Hagen from Progress Coaching, and welcome to another episode of Coaching Conversations. And I wanted to make you aware of something very cool that we're doing on a subscription basis, and we'll put a link in each one of our episodes. But every Wednesday, we're going to be doing what we call an audio podcast workshop. That workshop will be roughly about 14 to maybe 20 minutes per episode with each month having the theme from a coaching model, using feedback strategically to coaching self-awareness and so on. So if you could look in the body or in the content description of each episode, and you will see a link where you can join this subscription. These are literally four workshops every month teaching specific strategies to address a particular area of workplace coaching uh, as it relates, again, to things like awareness, motivation, teamwork, and what have you. Here's the cool thing. It's only $10 per month, and each month you will get a handout that we will follow along with, so we also give you a tool for you to take notes as we go through each episode. We hope you'll check it out. So often people will ask me, you know, what's the number one thing you would encourage leaders to do to become great coaches? And it's really a one-word answer. Practice. Conversations require practice. And I go back to the fundamentals of a leader's day. Think about it. From 8 to 5, we have multiple, multiple conversations. We have conversations with millennials who want to get promoted by next Friday, and they started last Tuesday. We have conversations with people who are near retirement. And oh, by the way, they just want to coast. They don't want any more change. And then you have people who are high potentials who just don't work well together. How do you have those conversations? And then you've got that really loyal employee who seems to have lost their energy and motivation. All of these require different dialogues, different questions, different conversation pieces. If we don't practice things, we just show up. Let me give you another example. Let's say you're about to do a speech in front of 500 people. And even if you're confident and you like public speaking, wouldn't you still practice? You wouldn't just show up. Here's the funny thing. That daunting thought of being in front of 500,000 people, whatever it might be, is different than sitting down in front of one person. Yet one person, in terms of a conversation, can really have an impact on 500 people. Let me explain. When we call people into our office, what happens? It's usually an impression of, "Uh uh-oh, what did I do wrong? Inevitably, when people leave leaders' offices, something happens. There's a domino effect. We don't talk about it, but I guarantee you it happens. People leave a leader's office, they go back to their work area, and ultimately the coworkers ask, what happened? And that's where the emotional interpretation and spinning starts. So when someone gets constructive feedback, even if it's accurate, rarely if ever will you hear an employee go back to the work area and say, well, the boss really gave me some good feedback and I was way out of line. And I got to tell you, his feedback was really targeted and dead on. What they're going to do is, yeah, he kind of attacked me and I really felt it was unfair And they're going to cop a little bit of an interpretation or an attitude. But rest assured, people are going to listen to that conversation. They're going to form an opinion. They're going to potentially share it with other people. And it's going to spread. It's one of the reasons we tell managers, practice bringing people into your office for the good things. Because you will spread the gospel. You will spread the good news as well. So when we have conversations, they require navigation. They require questions. They require listening. Often they require eye contact. They require good professional control of our appearance in terms of not rolling our eyes or folding our arms. There's a lot going in when we have conversations. There's a lot that goes in people's minds when we have conversations. So think about if you practiced, wouldn't you inevitably get better? If we practiced, wouldn't your confidence go up? If everybody practiced, wouldn't we have more consistency in the workplace? 
Thank you for listening to another episode of Coaching Conversations by Tim Hagen and Progress Coaching. Now, our company is always coming out with new and innovative solutions to help leaders coach their employees. And recently, we just created a new service called Coach to You, where leaders can pick and choose topics and assign seven to 21 day programs for employees to learn and, more importantly, apply actions and then reflect and share what they're going to do going forward as a result of the learning. It's called Coach to You. We're literally bringing coaching to your employees. If you're intrigued, we'll have a link in each one of our episodes where you can get more information. And again, thank you so much for listening to another episode.